What's up guys, what's going on? It's Dread and I'm back with another video. We're on Madden 22 and today I got the Tennessee Titans. They had one of the more exciting drafts. I don't know how I exactly feel about it to be honest. Um, they went out first round, ended up trading AJ Brown, one of their best players, and they got Traylon Burks. Took him at, I believe, like pick 18. Burks is a great receiver. I'm really high on him. I think he's really talented. I think he can offer a ton to an offense. Losing AJ Brown is ridiculously tough though. He's in my opinion, top three most valuable receiver right now, probably um, when you consider age and talent level and all that stuff. I don't know why they didn't pay him. I really don't. I guess they're just a run first team maybe. That's what they were thinking. I don't know. Either way, love the pickup of Burks. I think that's a really good move for them. I'm excited to see how that plays out. In the second round, they went out. They got Roger McCreary. We got him down here at corner number three. He's one of my, honestly, favorite young corners. I, I think he's got so much potential. Uh, watching him this year, he played amazing in a ton of games. He was all over the field making plays left and right. I think he's got what it takes to be a great corner. Taking him in the second round kind of seems to affirm those thoughts. So I think he's going to be an impact player for him. I like the defense pretty much across the board. We could use some linebacker help, maybe a little more pass rush, but it's pretty good. It needs a little time to develop some players, some of the younger guys, but we're looking okay. Offensively, they came back in the third round. They got Petit, Frere, Frere whatever, Nicholas, we'll call him Nick. I don't know. He's uh, I think he profiles more as like a right tackle, so I'm not sure why he's in there as a left guard, but that's what Madden has him at, so that's where we're just going to leave him for this video. And then the big one... Malik Willis in the third round, super interesting. Obviously him falling to the third round is scary. I don't know exactly why that happens. No one outside of the NFL really does, but I think it's exciting. He's got a lot of potential. Adding him to this running offense, it's gonna open up so many options for the offensive coordinator. I'm really excited to see how it plays out. We're gonna hop in, simulate this first season, see if we can make the playoffs. If we don't, try to fix up the team in the off season and run it back next year. If you guys enjoy content like this, please drop a like, drop a sub, helps me out a ton and it makes these videos so much more fun for me to do. Let's get into it, let's see what's gonna happen. First thing I gotta do, we're gonna trade Ryan Tannehill, see what we can get for him and probably see if we can beef up that offensive line a little bit more. I'll show you guys the trade I come up with. This is literally the very first trade that I tried. I assumed I would have to throw draft picks in, but we get Lyle Collins and Logan Wilson for Ryan Tannehill. Those are both amazing pickups. We're gonna put Logan Wilson at middle linebacker him and Zach Cunningham in the middle, solid duo. Lael Collins on the right side is a great upgrade at right tackle. I really like our team now, honestly. I think we'll probably take a year to develop still, but we're looking good. All right, so first season is over and it looks like we snuck into the playoffs. <laughs> of course, the Jaguars went 12 and five. Madden loves its young quarterbacks. It loves its rookies. It always favors them. There's no shot the Jaguars will ever be close to, well, Maybe, maybe, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe they will be close to that. I shouldn't say that. A uh, decent year for Malik Willis as a rookie. Five more touchdowns on the ground isn't bad. Derrick Henry did his thing. No surprise there. Traylon Burks, really solid year. Kyle Phillips. <laughs> I didn't even mention him when I was talking in the intro, but he actually got involved. Though. It's a lot of a lot of catches for a number three receiver. Um, yeah, that's solid. I think, what, they drafted? Yeah, they drafted Okonkwo too. He didn't do too much. Um, not really a surprise. He was our number two tight end. So, uh, sacks. Let's see what the boys did. 9.5. Not a lot of production there at all. Uh, three for Logan Wilson. That was a big pickup. Nothing for McCreary. Other than Burks and Willis, our offense or our rookies, uh, they really didn't do much. Our offense, I guess, benefited from the rookies a lot, but you'd definitely like to see more. Uh, we're going to upgrade players, see, uh, see how this team looks, and then we'll hop into the first playoff game. All right, we're gonna hop in, we're simulating it. In real life, I would probably pick the Bills, but it looks like they weren't that good in this sim. And if we get the win, 31 to uh, 31 to 18, that's honestly a big time win. We're gonna upgrade players and we're gonna hop into the next. All right, division matchup, both wild cards. Somehow we meet up in the divisional rounds and we get a win, 35, 31, that's a solid win. I guess what else do the Colts have other than uh, Jonathan Taylor, but we'll take it. We're gonna upgrade players and get into one last game here. All right, knowing Madden and its simulation, Trevor Lawrence is probably gonna absolutely smack us here. I don't know, I mean, in real life, I'd pick the Titans over them. And we do, we get it done, we get it done. I am honestly surprised. Madden absolutely loves its young quarterbacks. That's what it 
in simulation, they just go crazy every time it seems like. They don't hear though, it's gonna be Tom Brady. Well, I guess we have a young quarterback too. I kind of keep forgetting that. We have uh, we have Malik Willis, that's a big boost for us, I guess. Uh, he's gonna get it done, he's gonna put us in the Super Bowl. We gotta go up against Tom Brady and the Bucks. That is no easy task whatsoever. So this is gonna be a tough one, but I'm gonna hop in and we are actually gonna play it. We're gonna see if we can get it done, let's go. All right, we are hopping in. We are gonna see if we can get it done. There's our boy Malik Willis running out. We're just gonna play offense because we're gonna focus in on Malik Willis and Traylon Burks. That's what this video is about when we really break it down. I love Roger McCreary, but we're gonna let his him do his thing on uh, on his side of the ball. He's gonna get it done for us against Brady. We gotta get it done for him. Obviously, the Titans we know are going to go crazy with uh, wow, that's scary. Logan Ryan got up to a superstar. Are you kidding me? All right. Um, didn't realize players that old could upgrade like that, honestly, but good for him. I love Logan Ryan. Good for him. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, we got to get this done. We got to use, uh, we got to use Derrick Henry. Got to try to move the, move the line. That's honestly the strength of this team, unfortunately. All right, there's some good movement. Yes, Derrick Henry doing his thing, picking up yards. Let's go. Uh, unfortunately, the Bucks also have a really strong defensive line. Vita Vea up the middle is terrifying. Um, Shaq Barrett, he's a stud. Joe Tryon should be out there. Didn't they just draft someone? Logan Hall, I think. Yeah, they just got Akeem Hicks. <laughs> they got talent all over the defensive line. Derrick Henry's still beasting, though. He's knocking guys all around. That's what we need from him. Let's try to do something easy, quick and easy. Try to get Burks involved here. Try to get Malik Willis going, feeling confident. I don't know why Derrick Henry is a superstar and not an X Factor. We're gonna roll out. And there he is, tight end is wide open. That's Austin Hooper. He's going to get us down to the 45-yard line. Good, easy play right there. I'm not mad at it. I'm not mad at it. We absolutely want to grind clock, so we're going to try to put it into two clock. See how much time we can get off the clock here. We don't want to give Brady a lot of possessions. Um, so that's what we like. We're going to try to come back, run a quick slant. I really want to get Burks involved early. See how we can use him, and he might just be open here. He is big time catch down to the 28-yard line. Honestly, a dime from Malik Willis on the run there too. Uh, love to see that. Burks looks nice in this. I like the way his, uh, his jersey, his uniform set up. We're going to come back. We're going to give it to Henry once again. You got a weapon like this. You got to try to use it. <laughs> He's going to get clocked by Antoine Winfield there, but not before he picks up another five yards. He just grinds it out. I'm With the way Derrick Henry plays, I've never been a big fan of it. When I watch him on film, it doesn't look that impressive to me most of the time. It's like you watch someone like uh, Christian McCaffrey or Saquon Barkley, you know, they're running people over, they're juking them out, they're knocking them to the side, they just, you know, they're making crazy plays like that. Derrick Henry is not a pretty runner. He's not. He doesn't have good footwork. He doesn't have crazy contact balance. That's like, the, that's the number one, uh, number one asset, in my opinion, for someone like Saquon Barkley. Um, and obviously, he's not been good the last couple years, so there's that, but... Uh, when you watch someone like that, their rookie year is one of the best seasons by a running back in a long time. Um, we do get a touchdown. I didn't even get hyped for it. I just kind of ignored it. Uh, let's see if the defense can stand up here before I keep blabbing. Uh, no, no, we cannot. <laughs> Brady does his thing in the Super Bowl. Shock surprise. Um, but yeah, he, like there's the highlights of uh, Saquon Barkley when he came out of college. Like the best, one of the best running back prospects ever. Everyone was crazy high on him for good reason. Um, there's that highlight where he jumps up to make a guy miss. He gets hit midair and still stays on his feet. Like, he just absorbs the contact. Derrick Henry doesn't do that that well. I think one of the best assets he has is just his size solely because of the fact that I think people are scared to hit him. Because he's built up that reputation of being a mauler, being someone that can run someone over. I don't know if he's even that great of a running back, but his just on the field, his play is so phenomenal because people won't do what they have to do to get him down. It's crazy. Like, I, I, you, you don't see people play Derrick Henry the same way they play someone like Saquon Barkley. They don't get their hands on him. They don't wrap up. They don't hit him low like they should, in my opinion. Like, you think about the Earl Thomas stiff arm. That's one of the most iconic ones I've seen in a long time. He's literally got his hand on his back. That's not normal, right? You know, and that's 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 a testament to the way. That's not me saying Derrick Henry is a bad running back. It's me saying that he's built up a reputation of being a beast, and people are terrified of that now. 
Um, and I think that works great for him. He's one of the most productive pure runners I've ever seen. I mean, he probably is the most productive pure runner I've ever seen. So mad respect to him. And uh, I didn't realize we still had two clock on, so we got to actually push this ball down the field. See, I get too distracted talking, running my mouth about stuff that I don't know enough about, and I get distracted. But we're going to find Traylon Burks again, and he's going to get out of bounds. Burks has been doing his thing for us. I like what I'm seeing from him right now. Honestly, he's a, he's a stud. He's he's moving the ball well for us. Let's see if maybe we can get it into the end zone to him here. I want to go to Robert Woods, too. Uh, I feel like I'd like to get him involved just because he's a good story. But we're going to run with Malik Willis, pick up a few yards, get absolutely rocked by Antoine Winfield. He's been laying some nice hits. Uh, but that's not going to be before we pick up a solid seven yards. We have 25 seconds to work with here. Maybe we can hit our other rookie, Kyle Phillips, here. I like this out route. He's going to be... Oh, I could have pushed it. Be a dime. Are you kidding me, Malik Willis? Across the body, on the run, back into traffic. He throws a perfect pass to Robert Woods for a 16-yard touchdown. Insanity. We're going to kick the ball off to start the second half back to Tom Brady. Let's get a stop. We can't. They convert on fourth and one. Get a sack, but they are going to come right back and get another first down regardless. Defense is not doing its thing. Uh, it's, it's a tough task. You're playing Brady in the Super Bowl. What can you... What can you do? Okay, can you get my double click in? Thank you. Still, we gotta figure out a way to move this ball again. Let's come back. We're gonna try to hit Burks or Phillips here. And Phillips is wide open. We have now gotten all three of our new receivers involved. You'd love to see it. This is a completely revamped wide receiver core for Tennessee. It's younger, it's cheaper, it's solid. It is interesting to me still that they moved on from, uh, that they moved on from, oh yeah, cut it up field. Yup, yup, stiff arm. Oh, I blew it. Bad timing. Logan Ryan gets us down. Uh, it is still crazy to me that A.J. Brown's gone. Titans fans, let me know how you think about that, or what you think about that. Are you guys sad to see A.J. Brown go? Are you guys thinking it's the right move for your team? Let me know what you guys are thinking. Honestly, I'm really curious to hear what you guys have to say. It's, uh, it's... Oh, oh bad throw, bad throw. Can't be mad. That's his first miss of the day. Um, but yeah, it's gotta be tough to see someone like A.J. Brown go. I mean, he's... Someone I really enjoyed watching, and I'm not even, like, necessarily a Titans fan. Uh, so, what do you guys think? How do you guys feel about it? He did go to... I'm, I'm a Giants fan. That's one reason why I talk about players like Barkley a lot, is they're players that I've watched as much, just seeing, you know, for context about earlier in the video. But uh, seeing him go to the Eagles, not happy about that. <laughs> I do not want to have to play him. Uh, watch my team play him twice a year, because he was a great receiver. Um... Yeah, what do you guys think, Titans fans? Do you guys think that Burks is going to be a good replacement? I did see the uh, the reports out of, like, OTAs, not minicamp, OTAs, about uh, about Burks being out of shape or having asthma, maybe. I think, it was, I think he had asthma or something, so he was having a hard time breathing and staying on the field for the whole practice. Uh, I don't know how true that is or what the case cause, whatever is with that. Uh, but how are you guys feeling about that, Titans fans? Y'all worried? You guys feeling confident in them still? Let me know. Drop some comments. Let me hear it. I like the moves the Titans have made. I think it takes them away from being a contender like right away this year. Obviously, having Derrick Henry, if he goes crazy in the playoffs, totally could be a contender still. Um, excuse me. But, uh, yeah, I do think they made moves for the future more uh, than they did making moves to win now. Getting a young corner is a great move. Uh, I like that. Getting a young receiver is a great move. Getting the, I guess that's kind of a bad statement because receiver, corner, and offensive line are all players that can be impact players year one, and they can, uh, they can. I mean, those are premium positions. So that's one. That's one thing that I really do like about what the Titans did is they went out and they got premium positions with high draft picks. Um, if they don't have faith in Ryan Tannehill, I'm not sure why they went out and got Malik Willis to be honest. Or if they do have faith in Ryan Tannehill, excuse me. Unless they really do want to move on and they just feel he offers that next dimension, which he totally can. Uh, we're going to run this all the way down to the two-minute warning, honestly. We want to take as much time off as possible. Um, but yeah, you have Derrick Henry. Malik Willis in the backfield with him is scary. I just don't know how much he trusts his arm yet. He's got a powerful arm. I just don't know how much he trusts the accuracy of it. I'm curious to see how he does in like training camp preseason time. Um because that's really where he's going to have a chance to show off what he can do in a pro-style offense. I'm curious. I'm excited to see what he can do. Derrick Henry is going to get us in for another touchdown. Jamel Dean tackles him, but not in time. We're going to go up by seven here. Uh, let's see. Come on, defense. Please. Please. Fourth and two. They are going to convert on fourth down once again. Third and ten. Fourth and ten. 
they don't get it done. That's going to be our game, I think. Still got to run some clock here, but I'm happy. I'm excited. I think we got this. Titans fans, let me know what you guys think about the draft class. Let me know what you guys think about the offseason, getting getting Robert Woods, getting, uh, getting rid of A.J. Brown. Let me know what you guys think about those moves. Let's go out. Let's win this game. I'm excited. I'm ready to get it done. Derrick Henry has been amazing for us today. No surprise there. Um, he is a beast, and Madden has him peeing an absolutely incredible player. Just running behind our blocks of our rookie, breaking tackles all the way down to the 31-yard line. That is the game. As long as, well, we're just going to kneel it out here. Uh, big time win for us there. Big time win. Honestly, this video is pretty fun. I like the players they have. I did not expect to make it to the Super Bowl in year one. I thought it was going to take us another year um, just to let the rookies develop and turn into better players. Malik Willis is only like a 70-something overall, but he played like he was like an 85-90. His, his throw, that throw to Robert Woods in the red zone was phenomenal. That's a big time throw. And for Madden terms, that's crazy. We won without even running with Malik Willis. Love to see it. Thank you guys for clicking on the video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please drop a like, drop a sub. Helps me out a ton. I put these videos out all the time, and I want to see you guys clicking on them again and again. I'm going to be putting stuff out. Hopefully, I'll have another one out in the next day or two, and I hope to see you guys there. Peace, guys.